Game over. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope you are doing well. So first I will give you an introduction about the scratch. So this is our code area, this is our code blocks, and this is our sprite area, and this is our sprite, and this is our stage. So now we are making a zombie game. So let's get started. So first open the scratch interface. After that delete this sprite and we will be using our own backdrops and sprite so we will use this backdrop that I have downloaded from the Google I will give you the links in the description you can also use it for yourself okay so now we will simply convert it into vector and then we will increase its size a bit bigger to fit the screen okay hold shift there you go. After that we will use another backdrop that is game over. We will simply convert it into vector and we will copy and we will make a duplicate out of it and we will paste it right here. We will simply increase its size to look better. There you go. We have just made two backdrops. We will delete unnecessary backdrops okay let's go to code area so now we will use our own sprites that I have told you that I have downloaded from the Google so well, the first one is our soldier we will simply decrease its size to 40 okay and we will put it right here where we want and then so what is the scenario the zombies will come from here and he will shoot it the soldier will shoot him in the head or they will die and respawn right here okay so we will give him the movements of up and down so for that go to events block use when the flag has been clicked I will zoom it so for you to see easily when the flag has been clicked so simply go to control block use forever if then and go to sensing block use key so we will use the up arrow key and then we will use these coordination so for that go to motion block and use this coordination so now it will be always right here whenever I press up arrow key so now I want him also right here so for that I will give him the the key of down arrow so we will simply put him right here where we want and there will be change in the coordination so we will simply use this coordination you will duplicate and delete this one and we will use this one so I simply use down arrow so let's see the results okay that's great okay so now we will add a background sound so for that we will go to the sound area and we will use our own sounds I will give you I will provide you the links you can also use it for yourself so this is the background sound click it okay go to code area and then go to events block when the flag has been clicked go to control block use forever and then if then okay so whenever oh sorry not this one we will simply use sound block and play sound so let's see the overall results that's great so it is now working so now we will add another sprite that is bullet so we will simply decrease its size to 10 and then we will put it along with the soldier go to costumes and go to, uh, convert it into vector and then flip it horizontally so there you go so now go to code area and then we will give the bullet some codes so first we will give the bullet some direction so for that go to control block Okay, 
when I start as a clone then it will show from the soldier so go to looks block use show and it will start from soldier so go to motion block and use this code and we will select the soldier after that go to control block use repeat until after that go to operators block and use this operator so it is in the X direction so go to motion block and we will use X position and then we will put negative sign and 140 okay so we will give the bullet some speed so for that change X by it will be in negative direction so for that we will give negative sign so after that so we have give the bullet some direction after that we will give the bullet some sounds and some keys so for that we will use go to events block when the flag has been clicked after that go to looks block it will hide okay after that go to control block use forever if then and we will use some keys okay we will put go to sensing block and use this key we will put the left arrow for the shoot so now we will use some sound go to sound area and we will upload the gunshot sound okay we will simply use it right here so go to sounds block use start sound okay and then it will wait for to reload and it will make a clone of himself the bullet so first it will whenever it goes to this coordination it should delete itself so for that go to control block okay and it will delete itself so whenever it goes to this coordination it will delete itself so let's go to again so whenever the left arrow key has been pressed it should make a sound and then it will reload so for the reload we will use the weight we will simply put 0.3 for example and then it will create a clone of itself so for that use this one so let's see that's great so it is working but it is not in position simply open this one and go to costumes zoom it out we will use it manually there you go so you can use it manually and it will work okay let's see results that's great so now we will add another sprite that is a zombie so go to upload sprite and we will use the zombie we will give the zombie a name of Alex okay so it is a bit bigger we will decrease its size to 40 and we will put it right here so it will respawn right here and its direction will be towards the soldier so we will simply use some codes for the movements so go to events block when the flag has been clicked so it will be in the front layer go to looks block okay and we will use go to front layer then we will give this coordination go to motion block use this coordination so whenever the flag has been clicked it will start from it will start from right here so now we will give some movements for that go to for, uh, go to for control block and use forever then okay so we will give zombie some costumes so click on upload costumes this one and we will add another which is this one okay for it to looks real so we will click on this and go to code area and we will use some weight to change its costume like 0 0.6 okay 
and then we will give him some speed so for that go to motion block it will change x by so it is in the positive direction which is in the right direction so it will be positive so we will change its speed very fast for 40 now we will change its costume the way it is running so for that go to looks block we will use next costume let's see that's great so now we will add whenever the soldier's bullet touches the zombie it should hide from right here and respawn right here and there will be some score or kills so for that go to variables we will make our own variable which is kills okay so go to events block we will use when the flag has been clicked go to variables block set kills to zero then go to control block use forever and then we will use if then so whenever the zombie touches the bullet so what it should do it should hide and respawn right here and it will there will be change in the kills so we will simply go to looks block we will use hide so when I go to sensing block use touching the bullet so whenever it touches the bullet it will hide and there will be change in kills so we go to variables block simply use change kills by one okay so whenever it kills it will hide and respawn right here so we will use this coordination so simply duplicate it and delete this one we will use simply this one okay this coordination and it will show so for that go to looks block and we will use show let's see that's great so now we will use another sprite for the game over or the next backdrop so go to upload sprite and we will use barbed wire so this is the most important part okay convert it into vector and simply zoom out and we will put it according to the soldier so whenever the zombie touches the barbed wire there will be next backdrop and the game will stop okay so go to code area and go to Alex so we will use the code so whenever the zombie touches the barbed wire so there will be next backdrop and game will be stopped so for that go to events block when the flag has been clicked go to control block use forever and then if then okay so go to sensing block we will use touching the barbed wire okay so what it should do it should change into the next backdrop for that we will use this code so backdrop 2 and the game will stop so for that go to control block use stop all okay let's see that's great so there is the last thing that will be a game over sound so for that go to events block when the flag has been clicked or simply you can duplicate this one and we will delete this one and we don't need this one we will simply add a sound so for the sound go to sound area and we will upload a sound that is game over okay go to sound block and use the sound of game over let's see sorry so first we will add the first backdrop whenever the flag has been clicked so go to motion uh, looks block and use this code so whenever the flag has been clicked there will be the first backdrop so let's see game over that's great so we'll, we will need another zombie so for that we will simply duplicate and we will simply 
change the coordination and there will be all right so we will simply delete this block okay we will put it right here okay where we want and go to motion block we will use this coordination and we will also delete this block and we will use this coordination so let's see overall results okay full screen let's see Game over. That's great. I hope you have learned something new today. Please make sure to like and subscribe to encourage us to make you more contents for you. Have a nice day and goodbye.